Hello, defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I help people who have gotten into trouble with the law in Southern California. My office is in Beverly Hills and I want to talk for a few minutes about the use of smartphones or cell phones. They are very, very important to protect because they contain so much information. A lot of information in the phones we know is there and a lot of information we don't know and is just collected in the background and we need to protect the phone. It's important to know that law enforcement, police officers, need a warrant to access the phone. They can't just take your phone and go into it unless you give them consent. So we want to make sure that we don't consent, we don't give them the phone and give them access to it because they will have access to all of the information, uh, geolocation information, GPS location, financial banking information, photographs, friends, text messages, call history, there is a ton of information in phones, so we want to make sure we don't voluntarily give that over. Now, if the police have a warrant, that's a little different, but in normal situations, we do not want to consent. We're not going to agree to give access to our phone, whether you might have done something wrong or not. You don't know what the police are looking for. Do not give them your phone. Do not give the phone to strangers either, and a lot of people do this unintentionally when they use public Wi-Fi. So one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the cell phone has a password on it. We wanna make sure that the cell phone is secure. So make sure that there's a, a good password on the phone. We wanna make sure that the software is up to date because that's gonna have the latest safety protocols and then we do not wanna use public Wi-Fi which can give people who are skimming or trying to get information access to the phone. And we wanna make sure that it is as secure as Possible. So do not consent. Make sure you have a password on the phone.